Good morning, everybody. I trust we are doing good. Once again, my name is Collins, a here at Lenigbe. And as we continue in our series of teaching, uh, this morning I will be teaching us how to create a personalized display picture that we can use on our various social media handles. To do this, we are going to make use of um, photo grid. So before now, I ask us to um, get any of these versions. But for this particular video, I will be making use of the newer version. So that is the third icon from my left, as you can see. So when you click on it, um, this is the first thing you are going to see. All right. But however, um, for ease of comprehension, what I'm going to do is that I will explain certain relevant features of this application. Afterwards, I will make an example based on what I have explained. All right. So let's click on the edit. That's what you do. So when you open it, you simply quickly go to look for the particular image you want to use. So I want to make use of this black background that has a um, butterfly on it. Okay. So when you click on it, this is what you see. You will see the image that you selected and another background. So what I want to do now is that um, since when I'm done here, I'll be using it as my the display picture, maybe probably on WhatsApp. What I'll do is to resize it. To achieve that, you click on ratio at the bottom. Click on ratio. Then you move to custom. You see this custom by my left. You click on custom. So when you do that, you adjust the number to 720 by 720 this is whatsapp's uh, resolution so you click on it all right the next thing you do is that you simply crop then what part what portion of the picture or image do you want to use so for me i want to make use of this part so when i've done cropping it here i'll click on ok at the top of the screen so this is what we've got all right so i'll now rotate it you can rotate it you now rotate it as you so desire so then you expand or zoom in you zoom in all right you zoom in so it has covered everywhere this watermark or photo grid you have to remove it so you click on it then you terminate that red um, icon you terminate it has gone when you are done with this the next thing you do um for me i already have um what i'm going to use so i simply come here i click on it click on this then i'll copy or go back i'll come here and i'll look for text and i'll click on text you you paste okay so look at this template when you click on this one that has a kind of a blue, if you take it to the um, left side of the screen, when you click at the middle, it will be at the middle, then right. All right. So I want to take it to the left side of the screen. So I click on this. So then you click on done. So this particular font and size as well as the color is not what I want to use. So I'm going to adjust everything now. So what you do is that you drag it inside so it has reduced okay it has reduced the next thing is to change the color of this um, write-up or text so you can click on color here so i use plain white then you go to style this style on that style you have border and shadow so for the border border talks about the color that fills the edges of the text it talks about the color that fills the edges of the text so i want to use um black or and, and set to click none so that to be plain but let's use black so when you are done here you can also go to okay we also have shadow here this one is not that important anyway but you can make use of it depends on what you are designing actually so this shadow you can either be look at this once you increase it be like this but we are not making use of that all right so that's why i decided to to leave this out so let's go to um 
the next so fonts so we'll go to fonts so you click on fonts good so we have a lot of um, fonts we can use for handwriting so I can try to use this or any of them all right so I'm done selecting the particular text I want to use the next thing I will do is to add um, um, a clip art so I've, I got it from the portrait like I showed you earlier on so I'll move it to this place and I will expand I will expand with this arrow I will expand okay this is it's all right like this so the next thing I will insert other vital information I will go to my notepad and copy copy then go back insert look for text don't forget then you add click down and go back click look for other vital information as well you copy then you come here look for text look for text you add Done. You go over again. Then, okay. Copy. Come here. Then look for text. And you do this. Done. So I want to edit them one after the other. So you come here. You bring it down. This is the email address. So you change the font to something nice. Say something like um, like this. No. Okay. So let's make use of this. So you bring it down to this place. Same with phone number. It's okay. Then you bring it. You add it and you make sure they are on the same line to make it more appealing and more appealing and organized all right so then the name i'll bring it down to this place and look for a particular font that i will use it's as simple as um, that so i'll move this one but done Look for text insert done. It's okay. So that is how this is done. It's as simple as this. And when you are done here, the next thing you want to do is to um, change the color. So let's look for one color that will match the background. I use that purple color so we'll look for another one you go over to this place um, okay yes same with um, this same with um, this color this okay I think we okay we are done here the only are done here you save it that's all so you look for this now I want to let you know that the higher the the pixel the larger the file size all right so if you choose 1024 pixel it will be clearer it you have it you have a higher a picture quality but the size of the picture will be bigger than when you use 720 so let's use 720 and you save you can either use a jpeg or png or well, jpeg is more common so you save so when it has saved here you go to your gallery then you see it so that is how this is done 